significant new mega project announced by President Trump, one that is prompting international discussions. It's called the Golden Dome for America. Picture an invisible dome stretching coast to coast, an orbital network of 1,000 defense satellites, each designed to intercept potential threats before they reach the atmosphere. That's more satellites than Starlink orbited in its first two years. Price tag? $175 billion. Deadline? Under three years, with Space Force General Michael Gretlin holding the stopwatch. If it works, Golden Dome could reshape global defense strategies, and it's being built right now. Why the urgency? Because other nations are advancing rapidly in missile technology. Last winter, Russia introduced an Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle, Mach 20, radar evasive, into operational silos. China claims a next gen glider can drop from orbit on a US city in under 30 minutes. North Korea lobs ICBMs deep into the Pacific, while Iran's space boosters could morph into intercontinental missiles by 2035. Add low flying cruise missiles that evade radar drone swarms demonstrated in recent conflicts, and submarines near U.S. shores, and no single ground battery can blanket the sky. So planners push the shield into space, watching every latitude, every second, ready to kill before warheads even separate. In short, a complex global security competition is accelerating, and Golden Dome is Washington's bid to move first. Golden Dome isn't one gadget. It's a multi-layer shield stretching from New Mexico test ranges to microsats 300 miles up. Picture 400 to 1,000 tracker satellites feeding targeting data to approximately 200 hunter platforms, each a kinetic interceptor in waiting. Half the fleet watches with SBIRS, class infrared and synthetic aperture radar. The other half hunts, deploying high-speed interceptors into inbound warheads at 13 times the speed of sound. There's more. An experimental layer of solid-state lasers and high-power microwaves, technology tested in 2022 at White Sands, designed to disable hostile satellites or neutralize drone swarms. Down below, upgraded Aegis, THOD, and GMD batteries plug into the same AI command cloud, giving coverage through boost, mid-course terminal, and re-entry. Miss once, the system still gets two more shots. Think Israel's Iron Dome, scaled from city block to continent, tuned for hypersonic threats and big enough to cover Canada if Ottawa signs on. Official price tag, $175 billion, America's priciest space defense project to date. Congress has already cut the first $25 billion check in a reconciliation bundle while the Congressional Budget Office warns the lifetime bill could crest $540 billion once two decades of orbital upkeep are tallied. Who pockets that mountain of cash? SpaceX will rocket 60 sat brick stacks on Falcon Heavy. ULA's Vulcan Centaur totes heavier radar birds to medium orbit. Palantir supplies the AI fusion brain. Anduril wires ground sensors. Legacy giants. Lockheed, Northrop, Boeing, RTX machine interceptors, and phased array eyes. Economists say the constellation could create about 20,000 new jobs, roughly the entire workforce that builds Boeing 737s in Washington state. Critics argue that investing heavily in emerging technology carries risks, as unsuccessful intercepts could contribute to orbital debris. Beijing criticized the Golden Dome initiative shortly after its announcement, expressing concerns about the potential militarization of space. Moscow shared similar apprehensions, suggesting accelerated development of counter-space technologies. North of the border, Ottawa wants in, but only with tech transfers and a cost share. Canada has already pledged six billion Canadian dollars for an Arctic over-the-horizon radar wall that would slot straight into the shield, closing the Hudson Bay gap and rebooting NORAD for the 21st century. At home, budget hawks dub the project a moonshot. Yet supporters argue the tab is less than the economic crater from a single rogue nuke, 
International legal experts note that the constellation operates in a legal gray area under the Outer Space Treaty, which prohibits weapons of mass destruction in orbit, but lacks clarity on kinetic interceptors and directed energy systems, potentially prompting discussions at the United Nations next spring. Deadline 36 months. That mirrors Ronald Reagan's 1983 Star Wars pledge. Only this time, boosters say tech has finally caught up. Rusable rockets have sliced launch costs 70%, and Cloud AI fuses radar tracks in under 50 milliseconds, quicker than a human blink. Fans dub Golden Dome the Iron Dome of Outer Space, 10,000 times the coverage tuned for Mach 20 threats. Critics point out that while Israel's interceptors cost approximately $50,000 each, the Golden Dome's space-based interceptors could cost up to $8 million each, raising concerns about the financial sustainability of large-scale deployments. Gigantic budget, compressed timeline, promise of near-perfect protection. History will decide whether this becomes humanity's first working space shield or a trillion-dollar cautionary tale tumbling through low-Earth orbit. The stopwatch is running. General Guitlein's program office in Colorado Springs has until the president's final State of the Union, 36 months, to weld three networks into one nervous system. Space-based hunters, a thousand satellite sensor web, and upgraded Aegis Thad GMD on the ground. The first hard gate hits this autumn with an orbital bus design freeze. Six months later, SpaceX will loft the inaugural 60 sat stack on Falcon Heavy, while ULA's Vulcan ferries heavier radar birds to medium orbit. Commercial launchers that shave millions off every flight. By mid-2026, simulated intercept tests over Kwajalein Atoll, screaming at Mach 15. One test simulates a FOBS glide path, providing engineers with a scenario to evaluate the system's response to objects re-entering Earth's atmosphere from orbit. Reality Check A Wall Street Journal deep dive flags shortages of radiation-hardened chips. Lockheed's kill vehicle line is already months behind. In Alabama, clean rooms technicians shave grams from interceptors because every extra kilogram steals Delta V in orbit. Palantir coders in Palo Alto feed terabytes into their AI, training it to pick a live warhead out of a balloon cloud in less time than a camera flash. Lawmakers sweeten tax credits to lure composite tank suppliers to Indiana and 3D print startups to New Jersey. Fuel for the job surge analysts peg at roughly 20,000 positions. But miss the Q4 2027 date, insiders warn, and the project's political oxygen could vanish with the next administration. Golden Dome isn't just a shield, one Senate aide quips. It's a sprint. And the finish line is sliding. Golden Dome now balances on a knife edge between audacity and anxiety. $175 billion wagered that lasers, kinetic darts, and cloud AI can weave an America-wide space shield before hypersonic weapons rewrite deterrence. Backers see the first successful boost phase, space-based missile defense, turning every rogue launch into an orbital self-destruct. Skeptics are concerned that costs could exceed $540 billion, potentially leading to increased global competition in defense technologies, while still leaving a small margin for potential vulnerabilities. So where do you stand? Orbital shield or orbiting white elephant? Light up the comments. We read every one. Smash like for more deep dives into mega projects and engineering marvels and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Keep binge watching, stay curious, and remember, build big, dream bigger, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video.